Christmas from Boiler House Garage. Welcome to part four of our series testing super unleaded petrol for their octane rating. We're also due for our six monthly test to see if Shell V Power and SO Synergy Supreme are still ethanol free. If you're new to the channel, this is primarily to see if they're still suitable for safe use in classic cars as well as uh, motorbikes and two stroke equipment. We're also part way through demonstrating the false economy of using the 95 octane so called E10 petrol, uh, so called as the E10s we've tested so far are between 5 and 7% ethanol and even with those lower than expected amounts we've seen how the price per mile is less, that's cheaper to run super unleaded thanks to the extra mileage expectancy and the simple fact that we're being sold an impure petrol which is less energy dense having been blended with uh, alcohol. I did hope to include the results I now have of each of the economy tests summarised in this video but sadly I didn't have time to work on it, plus it's probably better to have it as a standalone video. In this video, as you've probably guessed, I'm at my nearest Shell petrol station on the south edge of Whitney in Oxfordshire. This garage as well as another in Highworth outside Swindon that I pass regularly have been either poorly managed or shall have supply issues as I've not been able to get feed power from either and seeing the out of use pumps is a regular occurrence. Typically on the day of filming it looks like they've got their tanks restocked. I managed to fill up the Fiesta plus a fuel can a bit further into Swindon so this is the one we can test now. If you saw the last video, I did manage to figure out how to get the tester to display in ROM a research octane number. The shell feed power is reading 100 ROM, which is 1 over its advertised 99 octane. Of course, it's only fair to retest the SO Synergy 99 Plus from part 2, as we got the lower than expected figure of 97 ROM by converting the reading of two samples in AKI, anti knock index, before we draw conclusions about the comparison as the tester being Russian could well be better calibrated to read RON, which is there in our native Octane unit. Now to test the shell is still ethanol free. This is a simple test I'm doing with a glass jar filled a third way with water. Then I've marked the water line with a sharpie. Now petrol can be added and mixed, then left to settle. The drips here are from the outside of the jar from rinsing it. If the separation line between the water and petrol has risen, there is ethanol in the fuel. As this level has remained at the line, Shell V Power is still ethanol free in the south. Another benefit of the octane tester is getting the high false readings on ethanol blended petrol so we can confirm SO Synergy Supreme to be ethanol free also. Uh, but SO themselves are the only brands who openly state that their super unleaded contains no ethanol in most of England and Wales. Only Devon, Cornwall and the North has some due to the distribution network from the refineries. I'd like to thank everyone who has subscribed to the channel. It would be great to see 350 by the end of the year if you haven't already. I do have loads of car repair footage that I'm waiting on uh, getting a new phone that's capable of compiling them. My current one can only manage uh, sub 10 minute videos at the moment. I will be continuing effort old tests in the new year once some building work is completed at home. Anyway, I hope you all have a great Christmas and I'll look forward to seeing you in 2023. Thanks very much for watching.